हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अरविंद कुमार वर्किंग एज पी फिजिक्स इन सूरज स्कूल रेवाड़ी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स दैट इज डिपेंड ऑन द ऑप्टिक्स सो इन ऑप्टिक्स वी लर्न ए मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज रिफ्रैक्शन थ्रो द प्रिजम ऑन बेसिस ऑफ इट वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट सो the aim of the experiment is to find out the angle of minimum deviation of a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incident and angle of deviation and also find out the refractive index of that prism so to perform this experiment we need something that is required first one we need a plane of paper okay plane of paper the second thing is we need to use a diopter do you know what is it it is used to measure the angle where we want to find out so we need diopter we need some basic stationary item that means pen eraser pencil sharpener scale we need some knitting needles also so this is knitting needle that is to fix the plane of paper on the drawing board okay and the most important thing is prism we need this is the most essential object to perform this experiment okay this is prism now we are going to perform to performing the experiment okay first thing we need to fix the white paper white paper on the drawing board like this way we'll fix this a4 size paper on the drawing board by the help of knitting needles okay now we will use the prism and to find the angle of prism we will draw a sketch of it like this way this is a prism and we want to find out the angle of the prism so we need to draw the sketch of the prism on this white paper like this way completing this diagram by using the scale by using the help of diopter we can measure the prism angle this is prism angle and its value according to the diopter is 60 degree okay so angle of prism is equal to 60 degree now we will use some object that means knitting needle so we want to draw the normal on the first refracting surface so this is a point where we will draw the normal so we will use the diopter to make the angle of 90 degree on this refracting surface because always we use the normal that means perpendicular on the refracting surface not with the incident ray so on this refracting surface this angle is 90 degree so completing the ray diagram will meet that point to the refracting surface so this line is normal on the side of this prism ab if we will put the naming on that side so this line is perpendicular on the ab we need the incident ray so we can choose the angle 
according to our desiredness so we'll use the diopter and make an angle from the incident ray that means from the normal using the diopter we'll use angle of incident of 45 degree 45 degree so by completing that ray diagram using it this is the incident ray so this is incident ray and this angle from the normal that we already know is 45 degree so this angle is 45 degree using the knitting needles we mark two points on this incident ray first one and that is second one so that the minimum distance between these two point objects must be greater than 8 cm so we'll use this needle okay and another one is this one so these needles are our incident ray that means it will behave like a point object so this is prism when we will see these two needles from the another refracting surface that means from the other face of the prism these needles will look in a straight line like this way so these two pins first one is red so first pin is red color and second pin is of yellow color these two pins from the other surface must be looking in a same straight line so we will find out the refracted ray and we'll use these two knitting pins again by watching it from the other surface so that these two needles of incident ray and this one is of refracted ray must be in a same straight line so first pin from the other surface is this one so from the refracted side and from the incident side all the four pins must lie in a same straight line these pins must lie in the same straight line like this way so these two pins are our incident ray and these two pins when we see it from the other side of the prism that these two points will give us an refracted ray so by placing a straight line from these two points by the help of scale and pencil we can draw the refracted ray so these two points will give us the refracted ray okay if the prism will not be there then this incident ray must go straight like this way must go like this way so this is incident ray by the use of prism this ray deviates by an so like this way at an angle of incident 45 degree we get angle of deviation 39 degree in same way we can use that type of sheet for taking reading of 5 to 6 readings at an angle of 35 degree we get angle of deviation 45 degree angle of incident 40 degree we get the deviation 39 degree 
एट एन एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट 50 डिग्री वी गेट द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट 37.5 डिग्री एंड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंट 55 डिग्री वी गेट द एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन 41 डिग्री सो वी विल मेक ए टेबल ऑफ यूजिंग दिस कैलकुलेशन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट by like this way when angle of incident is 35 degree the angle of deviation from the seat is 45 degree 40 degree 39 degree angle of incident 45 degree angle of deviation is 36.9 degree at angle of incident 50 degree the angle of deviation is 37.5 degree at 50 degree angle of deviation 41 degree and last at an angle of 60 degree the angle of deviation is 45.5 degree so in these readings the minimum angle of deviation is 36.9 degree that means it is our minimum deviation at an angle of 45 degree at this angle of incident the deviation is 39 degree 45 degree okay at 50 degree our angle of incident is minimum that means 36.9 degree from the another seats okay by using these readings we can plot a graph between angle of incident and angle of deviation so We'll take this graph on the y-axis we will use angle of deviation okay it starts from 35 degree nearly 40 degree 45 50 equal spacing will be there and on the x-axis we will use angle of incident 35 degree 40 45 50 these are our angle of incident so at 35 degree angle of deviation is 40 degree so on this point the angle of deviation is 45 degree so this is our first point at an angle of incident 40 degree the angle of deviation is 39 degree that means it is nearly at this point at an angle of 45 degree the angle of incident is this one okay at an angle of 50 degree we can say okay at an angle of 45 it is 39 36 point at an angle of 36.5 degree at an angle of 45 degree it is 36.9 degree it is minimum value of deviation at 50 degree it is 37.5 again it is increasing at 50 degree it's 41 degree so this is 41 degree at an angle of incident 60 degree the angle of deviation is 45.5 degree so we'll connect these points and get the graph of prism between angle of deviation and angle of incident so from this graph you will observe that it is not symmetrical from the equal point these value and these value are not symmetrical so it is a asymmetrical graph by using this graph we obtained that the minimum deviation of the prism is 36.9 degree its value is 36.9 degree so minimum deviation of the given prism is 36.9 degree and the angle of prism is 60 degree we obtained it so our first aim to plot the graph between now we will find out the refractive index of the given prism so we know the formula of refractive index of the prism by the prism formula that is mu is equal to sine a plus del minimum minimum deviation okay this prism minimum deviation divided by 2 upon me sine a by 2 and we know from the experiment that means angle of this prism is 60 degree in previous seat we observed it and the minimum deviation is 
minimum deviation among these values is 36.9 degree so we'll put these value in this formula so sine 60 plus 36.9 divided by 2 upon me sine 60 by 2 and this value is equal to sine 47.4 degree and at denominator side it is sine 30 degree from the scientific calculator we will measure the value of sine 47.4 degree is 0 0.7360 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 okay so the refractive index will become 1.507 that means the refractive index of the prism of this prism is 1.507 that means it is nearly equal to glass so this prism is made up of a glass having find out the refractive index of the given prism when the examiner will ask these things you can easily draw by using these readings and this experiment okay thank you